Welcome back to the show. Well, the super weird thing about our next guest is that he started growing his playoff beard this morning. <laughs> he actually started when he was about five and a half years old. I think I get to see his <laughs> shining face every day. He is Dunner, senior program manager at 99.3 The Fox because The Fox has launched their Vancouver Seeds for 2012. How are you, buddy? I was actually born. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what a weird-looking baby that very was. Strange uh, very uh, we strange got to talk birth. because we're going to probably ask everybody today. Uh, Canucks. Game, game tonight. You watching? Where? What Absolutely. do you do? Where? I think I'm going to be down on Mahoney and Sons just around the corner here watching the game. Yeah. Thrilled. Do you watch it with its, uh, some mates? or? Do yeah, you? yeah. There's always sort of a steady crew that roll in every yeah. time to see the game. So, uh, How do you feel going in. into the playoffs uh, this year? I mean, as a fan, do you? Mike feels zen, I'm zen less this stressed year, out. I'm chill. I am freaking out on the inside. How do you feel? I just, I love the vibe of the playoffs. Yeah. So I, I don't care what happens. I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled every time it gets to this time of year. Yeah. So I think it's going to be huge. Well, this what is a year. treat to, to see a, a team that's so good for two solid NHL seasons. Yeah. It has never happened in my lifetime. No, never just, two years in a row. The level of hockey when you hit playoffs is unbelievable. See, I'm yeah, getting nervous as we're talking about. I know, I'm getting excited. I know, I know. Okay. <laughs> okay, we have to talk Seeds. about Seeds 2012, yeah. uh, the big thing for anyone in the music biz. Uh, tell us, first of all, what is Seeds? Well, Fox Vancouver Seeds has been working and developing acts for the past almost 30 years in Vancouver. The Fox has been fortunate enough to work with the best BC talent year after year after year. And the big focus with Seeds has always been to try and not just do a, a battle of the bands and you get a prize yeah. you walk away with. It's to actually work with the winners so that they can develop a, a career, get a national exposure, and start actually and doing what they love. in the yeah. biz. Surviving in the biz. So we've really sort of taken the biggest decision makers in the Canadian music business. They've all made an investment in the program, and uh, this year is going to be more spectacular than any and year And you guys before. do stuff from uh, the studio to equipment to this year. You've added uh, with uh, the Arkel, or Arkel's... Uh, a tour. I mean, yeah, this is this huge is this year. Be but talk about all the elements that you guys put in place for, for these bands to help them get success. Sure. Well, most recently, we were in Toronto for Canadian Music Week and actually got to take Louder Than Love along with us, who was the winner from last, last year, year yeah. and had them in studio working with Rain Maida, lead singer of Our get Lady out. Peace, doing songwriting sessions. So, What was that like for the guys? Louder they than said love. it was a game changer for them as a band, that they yeah. had been looking at songwriting so differently before they met him and then afterwards just gave them a whole bunch of tools that they never had before. Yeah, because that experience, I, I mean, you only know what you know, right? That's right. And, and when you get someone else's experience and someone who's been doing it so long and so successful, successfully like Rain has, uh, you just, you know, like sponge, you just soak it up. That's the thing. And, and as a young band, it can become, you know, it, it can look like an insurmountable task when you think of all the things you have to do to become successful. So Fox Vancouver Seeds has sort of been instrumental in breaking those blocks down and giving you an expert in each of the arenas. Ralph James has been involved in the project for a long time. Might not be a name you know, but handles Nickelback and yeah. most of the top Canadian bands yeah. from Billy Talent all the way down the line. Well, let's talk about Nickelback because they were a Vancouver Seeds band. That's which right. A lot of people probably don't know. What was it like for you guys to nurture that talent and see where they've uh, come today? These guys like today? blowing stuff up. <laughs> I always leave one of their concerts with no eyebrows. I, know, it's I don't a ton know about of fun. anyone else. But what is it like to work with a band like Nickelback and their success today? Well, I've only had the fortune of working with Nickelback as friends and uh, and a fan uh, along the way. They won Seeds long before I was ever at the Fox. Um, but God, we're situation. getting old, Gunner. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you talk about hardworking bands. That band's uh, deflected a lot of crap that's been thrown their course, way this yeah. past year. Those guys are uh, some of the nicest guys in the world yeah. and uh, have done very well. This tour is going to be huge for them again. But that's a band who gets it. Like a lot of the bands who've won Seeds, they're part of the way there, but they understand the hard work that it takes to get there, and our goal is just to try to connect the dots for them. And, and another them more along. recent band, Daniel Wesley, we've had him on the show many times. Yeah. I love that guy. And a there's little a bit guy different for the Fox, too. At the same time, if you think about some of the bands that have won in the past couple of years, like Head of the Herd and others, yeah. I mean, we're not after trying to fill a mold. This is about finding BC's Good best act. talent. Yeah. I think it, you look at the three bands from last year, extremely diverse. Daniel doing very well, sells out the Commodore every time he plays, now touring yeah. all the way down. Uh, throughout the U.S. and across Canada. I mean, Daniel's a performer that we're really proud of and, and happy and to support. He's such a nice guy. He's nice. a great guy. Uh, and the tour element this year with uh, Arkells, uh, that's a that's a very different element for you guys and such a learning experience, I would think, for you know whoever goes on to be the Vancouver Seeds. Yeah, this is really exciting this year. So we've done a lot of things in the past from putting your record out to having you work with key producers, and we're going to do all that again, but we're now going to send the winner out on the road with the Arkells. Juno Award winners, one of the brightest talents in Canada. Um, if you really want to know what it's like to be a, a band and, and establish your career on a national level, yeah. get out on tour. How many tour dates does the winner get They're to They're going to be going out on five Canadian tour dates. <laughs> when you think about Canada, 
doesn't take much more than five to get coast to coast. No yeah, man, that's crazy. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about what venues. people have to do, because you guys have set up a great infrastructure. Yeah, it's really simple to enter, cfox.supernova.com. Just like going to Facebook, you create your own profile for your band, yeah. and you manage your own profile. Post your videos, your shows, three original songs, your bio information, all that. Meet other fans, meet other bands. Look and at you last guys have been using this for the last uh, few years as well, and it's turned into a, you know, a really cool thing and and unto itself for artists and, and for fans. And well, that's the thing, and it's managed by the fans and the bands. You're talking almost a thousand bands, 1.6 million hits between that and cfox.com last year. People are, are engaged and interested in helping yeah. young talent out. And, and we're thrilled to be able to be there to try and help them along. And that's great because the music industry has changed so much. It's good that you guys have a tool that actually gets bands out there to meet other bands and fans. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's talk about your band because when you're talking about <laughs> going you, man. on the road, you know what you're talking about. You have a bunch of very cool dates yeah, coming up. Where it's can people be a good see song. you guys play? Uh, we're going to be playing it live at Squamish. We're going to headline Canada Day in Kelowna, B.C., which is my That's hometown. That's going to be a party, Gunner. <laughs> <Nice. Nice. laughs> How weird is that going to be? Like, play in your hometown, it's a headline? It's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. No uh, We're going to be up at Merritt Mountain Fest as well, and then a bunch of other festivals on the island and out through Alberta this summer. So it's going to be a busy summer for us. You know, it's a fascinating thing, Gunner, because you take your experience not only as program director uh, at, a, at a great station like the Fox, but then you take your, your vision as a musician as well. And when you marry those two things, I mean, you can tell that a guy who loves this business and all its elements is kind of leading it up as well. So it must be a pleasure for you to see these bands react and, and get that positive. You know, thing. as a musician too, I've learned so much from the Fox Vancouver oh, Seats yeah. program, from, from spending time with guys like Garth Richardson, who will record your EP, to, you know, Ralph James, we talked about the managers at Coalition Entertainment, Maple Music, all these people are out there to really help your band get a start. So it's different from winning a prize and yep. then not being able to connect with these people. These people are going to take your phone call and not only that, they're going to sit down with your band and help you develop. So yeah, establish a relationship. I've well, learned so much. I know the Seeds bands have learned so much along the way, too. Donner, job, thank man. you so much. Starting this Friday, it's your lucky day on April 13th. Uh, you can enter the Fox Vancouver Seeds 2012. As Dunner just said, you go to cfox.supernova.com, and that's where you can create your profile, and you can find like-minded people. Just upload all your stuff, and uh, the deadline to submit, by the way, is May the 18th, so get on it. Yeah, you got a little bit of time. Thanks, Dunner. Appreciate thank it. You. See you guys.